Construction begins on the rebuild project for the Honey Run Covered Bridge. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper has more on this long-awaited project. The Honey Run Bridge Association just received $4.7 million to help in the mission to rebuild the historical bridge lost in the campfire. And on this sign behind me right now, it says they're actually in phase two of the rebuild process, leaving two and a half million left over. You know, I've hiked that area a couple times since the fire. I haven't been up there, so I am looking to see what it's going to look like. Are you wondering maybe what's happening with kind of the excess money? I, I would like to know. I want to see what the bridge is going to entail first, see how much beauty is going to come with it, and then I'll ask the question where the rest of the money go. President of the Honey Run Bridge Association, Walt Schaefer, told me just that, with plans to not just rebuild the bridge, but make it even better by beautifying the area and extending the services to the other side of the river. But Butte County local Scott Nitzel says he's disappointed over the use of the money and that the fact that he likely won't be able to swim in his favorite area under the bridge during construction. I'm kind of disappointed that it's happening. We could use the five million somewhere else, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. They've got to shut this area down for, for risk safety factors. I would think if they go all at it, a general contractor, it's got to be six months. Schaefer says an unknown fact about the Honey Run Bridge area is that it costs about $50,000 a year to run and that the $4.7 million is a gross cost, meaning some of it will be going to attorney fees. During construction, the area will likely be closed off to the public for several months. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting in Butte County with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. We are told that the bridge will be the same shape and size as the previous bridge. It will be ready to walk across by late 2024, early 2025 at the latest. The $4.7 million came from the Fire Victims Fund.